Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. I thought we were done. I thought we had done all of the content in Broken Steel, but it sounds like I'm wrong. Because apparently there's somebody at the Jefferson Memorial who will give out a few more side quests, and I was not aware of this. So we're going to make our way to the Jefferson Memorial now, Project Purity. Killing any super mutants in our way, of course. Got plenty of rounds for this sniper rifle. This should not be a problem. Oh, that one's coming right at me. Oh, Lordy. Can't move fast enough. Go, get out of there. Go. Get a little closer. Try and blast him. No, don't reload. Don't reload. Come on. Shut it out of his hand. Good. There we go. There we go. All right. I think that was... I think there aren't any more mutants in the area. Good grief. Now, I really do enjoy the amount of damage protection I get from this armor, but the <laughs> the speed at which I travel is just a little too slow. It's, yeah, especially with uh, without fast travel, traveling around like this is just a little too tedious. Oh, that's nice. You can actually see pure water pouring out into the basin. That's cool. I see a mire alert down there. Nevertheless, that's a nice touch. Very nice. And we have a trader down here, it would seem. Is that who I spy? Just a random trader? Ah, looks like they're carrying Aquapira around. Well, sure. Let me guess. Your first time on caravan duty? Yeah. So what? You think we can handle it? Believe me, you guys aren't the only ones who know how to put down a raider. Take it easy. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just like all the other caravans. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's move it out. Okay then. Come on, Suki. G up now. <laughs> yeah. So the helicopter is still there. That glitchy helicopter just won't. <laughs> oh, disregarding that. Let's try and find the scribe that I need to talk to. If the colors look a little bright compared to normal, it's because I smoked a marijuana, and that apparently makes colors very vibrant. Looks like they cleaned this place up. Removed my sister's corpse. Yep. Yep, making making things look nice and neat around here. I'll even have a nice desk set up. Good. Waylaid by raiders, or, or was it mutants? They want additional compensation for losses and unexpected expenditures. It's the goddamn wasteland. What the hell did they expect? I don't know, sir. Should I tell them to go away? I wish, but no. I need them. They're some of the few that bothered to come back at all. A hearty bunch, this group. Almost as good as our own men. I see. Well, what should I do with them about their demands for compensation? Did anyone die? I don't think so. No. Oh, that's good. Uh, some bottle caps, then? Uh, how much is left in the petty cash box? They want plasma weapons. <laughs> what? <laughs> they saw an initiate lugging a crate to the armory. Fucking hell! <laughs> Damn it. Sir? Those weapons were to go to Rivet City, but you know, whatever. A, a rifle, grenade or two, but only if they agree to take a shipment immediately to Big Town. Yes, sir. What kind of name is Big Town, anyway? <laughs> I don't know, sir. <laughs> go on. Don't keep our guests waiting any longer. I have work to do. Hell, I really need to clean this place up. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is really good. All right, you must be the person I did talk to. Scribe Bigsley. Did Lyons give you a little congratulatory speech? Then you won't mind if I don't offer you one. Thanks to you helping get the purifier up and running, my life's become a living hell. <laughs> but you probably don't care about that. I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't think we've met Scribe Bigsley. Excuse me, I'm Bigsley, and I'm just a tad stressed out. Perhaps you saw that little line outside my door? Sounds like you have your hands full here, Scribe Bigsley. Everyone was so excited about that purifier. Project Purity this, and Project Purity that. But did anyone stop to ask, Hey, what are we going to do with all that clean water? Well, guess who gets to fill in that tiny detail? <laughs> it, it, it'd be one thing if I had support, but that, that little war with the Enclave has depleted much of the Brotherhood's resources. And to top it off, 
I have to be mommy to a bunch of lab coats. Well, it looks like you're handling it well. I wish I could help, but I don't work for free. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? Can I lend a hand in any way? Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. Eh, task for any acolyte, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. Okay, so Rivet City and Megaton. Tell me more about Rivet City's caravans. Have they been getting hit hard? Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. <laughs> Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. Organized bandits sounds like a big deal. Um, yes, I will do what I can to help Rivet City. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. And Megaton. I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it, though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look, if you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Okay, then I'll do what I can. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm sorry I can't offer you any support in this. All our resources are uh, tied up at the moment. Good luck. Sounds good to me. Rivet City and Megaton. Seems like a lot of trouble giving it all away. Why don't you just sell the water? Many of us keep asking that same question. The Brotherhood isn't a postal service. We have important things to do. <laughs> and we need caps and technology to do it. Lions is on some kind of mission. But, yeah. Things are being done to offset the cost of Lions' little pet purity project. I know you've got something set up. Don't worry, I won't tell your superiors. I can pass a karma check here. Is it because I'm neutral? Am I still neutral? I don't know. I should probably check that. But I know you're up to something, but don't worry. I won't tell your superiors. Yeah. You don't seem like the goody-goody type. <clears throat> but don't spread this around. So, this ghoul, Griffin, comes in wanting to purchase a bunch of water. <laughs> what the hell does that droopy, irradiated fool need with pure water? Thinks he can sell it in Underworld. <laughs> the moron. <laughs> but, you know, he's the only one who's offered to pay for water. In caps and technology. And what Lyons doesn't know won't hurt him. There's plenty of water to go around. Okay. Well, then maybe I'll go... Yeah, that's a new, uh, new quest as well. Alright, so I'll deal with these three things. Rivet City, Megaton, and Underworld. I literally can't remember the last time I got sleep. I must have dozed off recently, though, if the, <laughs> the drool on my desk is an indication. <laughs> <sighs> I love how dejected he sounds. We've all had days like that. So, I take it you don't agree entirely with Elder Lions? It's probably best if I don't answer that question. <laughs> all right, that was all. <sighs> all right, see you later. Have a nice day. Where is it nighttime? I can't tell. I think they put me in an office without <laughs> windows on purpose. <laughs> tell me about it. Oh, this is my favorite new character in this content. I think I caught the boss napping this guy's at the desk again. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, so three quests it seems. Rivet City. Rivet City is probably the closest one. Consult with Upper. Consult with Officer Le Pelletier. Le, Le Pellet Consult with somebody at Rivet City. Investigate Megaton. That's eh, not terribly far away. And Underworld. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to go through the sewers and the metros to get there. We'll, we'll deal with Officer Le Pelletier at Rivet City first. And we have made our way to Rivet City. I took off my clothes to get here because that allowed me to run faster, so I've got the armor in my inventory, but I'm just here to check this place out. Complimentary guards? Complimentary guards. Are you the people I should be talking to? No. We pay caps or beer. <laughs> uh, we're working for peanuts over here. Yeah, this place is a little different. It's pretty cool. Water caravan check-in. Let me put on my armor and smoke a cigarette so I can get a bit more charisma. And maybe you guys will open up a bit more. Water caravan driver. Heard more than a few of these water caravans go missing. Uh, yep. We'll get on out of here as soon as we're done drinking up this free booze. <laughs> Driving water is dangerous. Want to get liquored up. And who is this? Crazy Harith? Lucky Harith. Here to shop? Have a look. Yeah, sure. Let's do some trading. All right. And now let's... <laughs> water caravan check-in. Ah, Officer Le Pelletier. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. <laughs> you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. I'm actually here to assist you. Bigsley's the one who sent me. Oh, he did? Huh, I was beginning to think he forgot about us. Ah, he's just busy. Not sure how much you know. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravans. Seems organized, and not just the random raider or mutant encounter. I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. I want to get to the bottom of these coordinated attacks. The sooner, the better. Okay, what do you need me to do? I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If, or rather when, they get ambushed, <laughs> I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. Okay, you sound pretty certain that this caravan will be attacked. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. Well, that's me. And, um, I'm getting paid for this, right? Do the job right and report back to me, and I'll make certain you get paid appropriately. That's what I like to hear. Is that a plasma rifle you've got there? I could use that on this... You know what? I'm not going to do that speech check because I don't want that plasma rifle. Okay, then I will do what I can to protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. Good luck out there. Thank you, thank you. Alright, follow the river north. So, this direction, I guess? You gotta find the caravan? Where, where, where are they? Um, I guess it's around that way. Yep, okay, that makes sense. Head towards the irradiated metro. So around this direction first. And this must be the two officers I was just informed about. Davis and the other one. Got anything to say? If you're looking for Davis and Lauren, they're already on their way north. Oh. Follow the river from Project Purity. That's a different caravan. All right. Follow the river north from Project Purity. Well, first I'll make my way to Project Purity and then head north. Hopefully not running into any enemies along the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, ow. I don't know what's going on. I'm being shot. I'm being shot at. Super mutants. Ow. Quite a few super mutants, actually. Got him. Any more? Yeah, that one that I cook out a long time ago is back. There we go. You doing all right, man? Looks like you don't oh, know. Looks like you're not doing all right. Take that hollow tag. Not that I'm going to turn it in or anything, but, you know, take it just in case. Soup mutant blood samples. Yes, yes. I can take soup mutant blood samples now and turn them in at the Citadel for some caps, which I may very well do. But first, let's return to my primary objective right now, following the river north. Not sure why that guy was bathing down there with those Meyer lurks, but... Hey, who am I to judge? Sounds like I found him. Or I found someone. Are you the people I'm looking for? Davis and Lauren? If you're looking for Davis and Lauren, they're already on their way north. Nope. The Gotta keep going, it sounds like. Hey there. Howdy. 
What do you have? Eh, some stuff. I'll take the stim pack. Thank you. Well, looks like I need to keep heading north. They must be pretty far ahead of me, I guess. I wonder if they're even going to be alive by the time I get there. Looks like, yeah, looks like there's combat going on right now. Looks like I'm already a little too late. Is that a host? That's a hostile person. Yep, yeah, there's the caravan that attacked. Okay, and they've spotted me. Then I will take you out with ah. gusto. You're not gonna shoot at me with that gun, are you? You can try, but you're gonna fail. Oh, you wanna have a go one on one, huh? I'll, I'll agree to your terms. Let's go, one on one. Yeah, it didn't last very long, did ya? All right, bandit. Yeah, there's Officer Lauren. He is indeed dead. And this one, the bandit, new meeting place. Yeah, that'll probably take me to where I need to go. Wasteland Caravan Driver had a lot on him, but he's dead now. Well, I guess he won't mind if I take his stuff then, will he? Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. <laughs> But you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, then you're going to be rich. If you want in, ride out with the next ambush. Stash the water when it's done, the regulars will show you where. And then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. That, and she cooks a mean stew. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. Wilhelm's and Wharf. Memorize the passphrase. It's Meyerlert Stew. Wilhelm's Wharf. A little bit more to the northwest. So I'll just follow the river and then, yeah, if I can find a nice place to cross, I will. I've, I'm familiar with Grandma Sparkle. I've been to Wilhelm's Wharf before, so should not be too difficult. Password is Meyerlurk Stew. Got to keep that in mind. Hello, hello. Okay, well, I have apparently found myself in an enclave holdout. Apparently, there are still a few few left. Indeed. Now that Deathclaw is probably not going to be hostile to me, is he? No, he's friendly, right? Yep, friendly little Deathclaw, helping me out. Good. And he takes out that stupid enclave soldier. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, who's a good boy? I'd pet you if there were a pet option, but... Oh, well, looks like I'm getting out of here. Try not to get landed on by this bird, and I, I don't want to be here. I just want to leave. I need to get out of here. I don't need to be here. It's very, very important that I just leave before I get shot to death. Looks like my little friendly Deathclaw went to go attack him, which is fine. He'll keep them busy and give me a chance to escape. All right, I see Wilhelm's Wharf over there. Yep. Plenty of do baddies over there. There's Grandma Sparkle. I guess she's complicit with all this, or trying to be a neutral party. Either way, yeah, they're not inherently hostile right now, so I'll need to cross over and go talk with them briefly if I can. Although, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to say. Hey, you, stop doing evil. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well. And even if I do talk them down and convince them to leave, it's, there's really nothing to stop them from coming back, so I'm I'm feeling like I'm going to be killing these guys one way or the other. Captain Paglia, Dockside, Bar, and Grill. Alright, got my shock sword in case this goes south, which I am predicting it will. Hello, Split Jack. Who the hell are you? I came for the job. You still hiring guns? Huh. You're one of the newbies then. Fine. So long as you know the passphrase, you're in. If not, you're dead. Yeah, no, the passphrase is Marlurk Stew. Okay, you're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in, don't really care. This is a real simple gang. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Oh, and put this on. We're a gang. We all wear the same uniform. <laughs> Good. Now I'm wearing metal armor and metal helmet, am I? Indeed. Put on this junk armor that I really can't carry and this junky helmet. You know what? I'm not going to drop the helmet. What are they going to do? 
There, I'm close enough. <laughs> wearing this armor again, am I? All right, all right. Back to wearing this armor. We are good now, right? We are, yeah, okay. I'll take a seat and just wait for him to come oh, back. Come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Yeah, this band is not wearing the same headgear, so why should I have to wear that crappy helmet? Another new recruit? Quit bothering me. Talk to the boss, Split Jack. All right, I put on all your gear, Jack, except for your stupid helmet, because mine's better. What is it? Take a seat and relax already. You're making me nervous. Okay, so what's the score this time? No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stash the Aqua Pura. And after Rivet City's had enough, we offer our Wasteland Protection Services. Then we control the water. And we charge whoever, whatever, we want for. How do you like that? Eh, uh, they're not gonna pay you to protect something they're giving away for free. I'm the boss of this gang. We do what I say. Don't forget that. All right, well, I have to go now. Good. I was tired of your yapping. All right, so I'll sit down we'll somewhere, and I'll wait for whatever to happen. What are you looking at? Sure. Just gotta find an empty chair somewhere. So, Grandma Sparkle, when did you become an Get accomplice to this face. gang? She's so indignant at that line of questioning. All right, well, what? I don't see, uh, I don't think any other, other gangs are going to come around. I think it's just uh, you and me, Split Jack. Someone's going to take you down. The best way to handle that, I think, is to put down a frag mine right here. And then walk this way over here to get some high ground. And then ever so stealthily pick him off with a headshot. Nice and easy. Try and do some damage before the rest of these guys get up. Alright, I took out their leader at least. Taking a bit of damage though, but I'm killing a fair few. Got you, and one more. Coming up over here, huh? Fine. There we go. Gotcha, you chump. Nice try, but you failed spectacularly. And now I'm going to swap out into my better armor. Alright, let's go see if these guys had anything good on them. Looks like Grandma Sparkle ran away, because I certainly didn't kill her. And I don't think she got hit in the crossfire. A pulse pistol, huh? That looks unique. I'll take that to try it out a little bit. No one set off my landmine, though. That's disappointing. Okay, well, weapon. Grab the YK-32 pulse pistol. Oh, I do not have any EC packs for it. Well... I guess Jack didn't have any... <laughs> I took everything Jack had. He didn't have any... Inf he did not have any ammo for the gun he was... Alright, well that's a bit silly. <laughs> it looks cool, but I'm not going to be able to fire it right now, so I'll just hold on to it. Now I need to report to Officer Le Pelletier. Okay, then I will do that. But since I'm so close to Megaton, why don't I stop there first? Stop by Megaton and see what problems they have. Now as... Ooh. Yep, yep, okay. Talon Company mercenaries. Heavily armored Talon Company mercenaries, it would seem. Although I only see two of them. They're usually in groups of three. Talon Urban Armor Mark II Heavy. Yeah, that's pretty pretty intense there. And your friend here had a flamer and... Wow. He had four copies of the contract on me. He just really wanted me dead, I guess. Alright, I guess there was just two after all, which is good, because I'm getting a little low on health, and I don't want to use my only stim pack. So, I'm going to make my way to Megaton, heal up there, and figure out what the problem is. If I recall correctly, the scribe said that water is disappearing. They keep ordering more water, but they are never getting their shipment. I wonder if that just means the caravan has been getting attacked. I'm not sure. And there's a hostile robot over here. Really don't want to fight you. But, looks like I'm going to have to. Oh lord, no! Cannot deal with that much damage! <laughs> Please do not hit me point blank with a rocket. I would appreciate it if you did not do that thing. Alright, gonna I'm going to use the Fire Lance. I've got 18 shots left for this thing, so... Ow! Yeah, now's a good time to use one of them. Or a couple of them. There we go. Took a little bit, but it's down now. 
And as I crest over the hill, I see indeed Megaton sitting nice and pristine. Well, you know, pristine for Megaton standards, which is a pretty low, pretty low bar, but yeah, it's nice to be home. Welcome to Megaton. Here, I've got some water I can spare. For me, crystal clear water. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Some drop? No. Try the brass lantern. I'm glad to help. Aquapura? I haven't tasted water this pure. Thirsty partner? Oh. Try Ariartes. Water. Did you give him a dirty water? What should I do? He asked for water, and I thought I was helping him, not killing him. What did you do? I just gave him some water I picked up on the way through Springvale. It tasted pure, and it looks clean. How was I supposed to know? I guess you couldn't have known, but I'll look into it. Where did you get the water, you say? Springvale? I thought it would help him. It was supposed to be holy water. The man at the monastery in Springville said it was blessed. He gave me this pamphlet along with the water. Called himself Brother Gerard. You can find him on the road through Springvale. They said they had lots of this holy water. Please do something to stop them. I can't stay here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would I would run too if Oh no, I better get out of here. People might think I killed Mickey. You guys saw that, right? You guys you guys are all witnesses. I did not do that. I have not given him any water. I hate that guy. Anything on Mickey's corpse? Water beggar. He had holy water. Alright, he was drinking holy water, which does give him a little bit of radiation. So, yeah, it's not as much radiation as dirty water, or as the good water that I would partially purified with my mediocre water purifier. Holy water pamphlet. Someone stuck that to my door. Good people of Megaton, your salvation is at hand. We are the apostles of eternal light. To heal this wounded city, we are willing to provide any and all supplicants with cleansing holy water. Come to our monastery in Springvale. Look for Brother Gerard. Again. An again, another, another, another thing pointing me to Springvale. Alright, let's do a little bit over here and then make our way there. Alright, the monastery is... Oh, really not too far away. Oh, yeah, Springvale is the town that's right... Okay, good. Springvale is right next door, so this will not be too difficult at all. Holy Light Monastery. Hello! Weary traveler, welcome to the Monastery of the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Oh, but you must be parched from your travels. Yet please, accept this gift. Holy water, blessed by our order. We must drink deep of the water of light, so that it may sanctify our tongues and render us purified for discourse. Indeed. I don't think I'm going to consume that right now. Drink holy water. Well, far be it for me to disobey. Oops, I accidentally took a diazepam and now I'm addicted to diazepam. I'll, I'll deal with that later. First, let's take the holy water. Yeah, I suppose if it kills me, it won't matter. My thirst has been quenched. I'm slightly irradiated. Now I must speak with you one more time and tell you that that was not very pure. I can see the glint of Adam's light in your eyes. You have purified your tongue with the holy water. So now we may speak. How may this servant of the eternal light serve you? Yeah, are you the only one here? No, no, ours is a modest order. But our ranks are growing slowly as others hear our words and are enlightened. You know the water is full of radiation, right? It's full of Adam's light, if that's what you mean. Brighter and warmer than any water I've ever seen before. Blessing of the holy water is overseen by Mother Curie the Third, our luminescent mother. But her work keeps her busy within the monastery at all times. I need to enter the monastery and talk with this woman. I'm afraid it is not open to the unenlightened. Your presence would contaminate our great works. However, if you are willing to be baptized in Adam's holy light, then perhaps I could allow you to enter and meet our leader. Um, you mean I have to be irradiated to be allowed inside? Yes, call it what you will. We simply will not allow any who do not bear the light. Ah, uh, okay. Then, uh, I guess I could become irradiated to gain entry, but tell me more about this water. Where did you get it? Our luminescent mother went to meditate outside of the city, and as she wandered in a trance, 
She was visited by Adam's angels of war. These angels brought her aqua pura, water so pure, so pristine, and so unsullied that she knew it would make the perfect vessel for Adam's glow. I have to go now. Uh, is there a different way to do this besides irradiating myself? I'm sorry, but I must insist. You simply cannot be allowed on holy ground without knowing Adam's light. Okay, I have to go now. May Adam's light guide you. All right, let me just roll around in here for a second. Just get all this radiation on me. I've got plenty of right away, and... Oh, especially now that I've found you. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's so... It's just taunting. There we go. And a purified water. Really, that's purified water. Really. If you say so, I sincerely doubt it, though. All right. I am heavily... Heavily irradiated, so yeah, deadly radiation poisoning. I should not have any problem getting in there now. I'm I'm still being irradiated. I guess I'm giving off so much radiation that I it's just a perpetual cycle. <laughs> I hope I don't die before I can complete this quest. All right, here I am. May Adam light your path, traveler. I am consumed with Adam's light. Can I please enter your monastery now? Oh, truly, your light is second only to the sons of Adam themselves. You are more than welcome. Please, speak with our leader, our luminescent mother, Curie the Third. Yes, I am just glowing with anticipation. May Adam's light guide you. Thank you, Brother Gerard. Just stand next to me for a while. I'm sure you'll feel Adam's glow soon enough. And I guess this is where they dump the Aquapura and then blast it with radiation! Okay! Well, apparently hitting that switch kills you. Ah, no, it just causes heavy radiation for the nearby area. Okay, let me just take a little bit of this radiation, just absorb it all into my body. And now, can I go now? Alright, according to him, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I can't go in there. I will definitely die of radiation. Let me just take some rat away and just pop a rat X. You know what? That's fine. Another rat away. Y yep. Good. Just try and get that down a little bit. And enter the monastery. Just, can I just turn this off? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I have the key to the monastery now. Ah, the monastery is this cellar. I was wondering. Like, I found this a long, long time ago. I had no idea what this was for. Apparently, it's part of this content. For too long, our world has been barren, and our people have become empty. Their hearts have become dry and cold, and thirst consumes the weak and the strong alike. But we can save them! Yeah. For... Oh, oh my! I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We're hardly prepared for casual visitors, I'm afraid. Oh! But where are my manners? <laughs> I'm Mother Curie the Third, and I lead the Apostles of the Eternal Light. What can I do for you, my dear? Nice to meet you, Mary. Luminous Mother, I need to speak with you about your holy water. Yes. If you wanted some, I'm sure that Brother Gerard would have gladly given you a bottle or two. We don't charge for charity, you know. Yeah, I see, I've seen how you make holy water. You put aqua pura in a tub and then blast it with radiation. You need to stop contaminating the aqua pura for your holy water. Don't be silly. How else will we spread the word to the unenlightened? So many misunderstand Adam and fear the glow of his light as a thing of destruction rather than humanity's next step toward perfection. With this marvelous holy water, they drink without fear, and by the time the glow consumes them, they have no need to fear ever again. Uh, there must be something I can do to convince you. Give it time, child. Soon Adam will enlighten your eyes, and you will come to realize the truth for yourself. Uh, I don't want to have to fight you. You never need to fight, my dear. But I'm afraid you simply aren't going to convince us to stop our holy work just because you disapprove. Okay, I have to go now. May you know eternal light. Maybe if I put away my sword, and if I smoke a joint, 
and also if I smoke a cigarette, that will bust, that will just boost my charisma and speech enough. Yep, let me just smoke two things at once. It's, it's really gonna, yep, cause me to glitch out a bit. But I should be fine now. Yep, let me just get this done. Take off this helmet just in case that might, yeah, it doesn't give me a uh, charisma negative penalty, but I'm gonna take it off just in case. And now let's try and get this done with one quick conversation. Oh, ghouls. Uh, look, ma'am, Mother Curie. Are you well, dear? Is there some way I can convince you to stop? We're doing holy work here, tending to the suffering and hopeless. Our holy water gives warmth to those who would only die unsaved otherwise. Uh, oh, looks like that speech option is gone now. Who, what makes you so sure you're right anyway? Who are you to speak for Adam? A dream of the prophet of Adam. Okay, I think we're done here. I am the prophet of Adam. Stop irradiating water. You may not agree with us, but you need not mock our beliefs. Okay, looks like there's only one way to solve this problem, and that's through violence. All right, okay, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to drop a... Watch out. Plasma grenade over here. Did that not affect you? <laughs> Did you just walk that off? Hold on. Let me try, uh, let me try and take out the mother with one of these. Okay, it does work. It's just not always reliable. Take out that guy. And get out my sword. Block that attack. And Adam's champion. Adam's champion is dead. Now these two losers up there. Yeah, come on down. And you. One more. Okay, problem is solved. One way or the other, it's been solved. Ah, and this explains where all of the missing water went. It was taken by these, these guys. These guys stole all the water from the caravans and tried to radiate it. Okay. Well, that mystery is solved. And I'm sure Brother Gerard is not going to be happy there. about that. Yep. Does it matter though? You're dead. I will take all of this stuff that I don't care about. Monastery key, five frag grenades. Eh, five frag grenades is good. All right. I'm done with that portion at least. So I need to report back to Bigsley, report back to Officer Le Pelletier, and discover what Griffin at Underworld is doing with Aquapura. All right. I guess that's my next step. And I'm still suffering from Radex withdrawal, so I'm just going to walk into Underworld and talk to the doctor there, try and get that fixed. The amazing Aqua Cura. Is Fox... Fox is still here. The amazing Aqua Cura. Studies have proven that 10 out of 10 drinkers of Aqua Cura do 50% better on all standardized tests. It's a scientific fact. That's terrific. Muscles atrophying, getting picked <laughs> on by bullies. Well, fear the dark alleys no longer, friends. Drink Aqua Cura with every meal, and wash your hands and feet ten times a day. Ten it's times a day. <laughs> and soon you'll be doing magic tricks and juggling knives, guaranteed. I'm getting a case for my family. Excuse me. Well, hello there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? Is that any different from the regular Aqua Pura? Why? Have you heard otherwise? Uh, did you just change the name, or did you do something to it? I changed the name to help ghouls realize its amazing properties. And, well, just between us, I've also added a few secret ingredients to enhance the flavor of the original. So it's not exactly the same, it's better. Care to procure a bottle? Could I get a free sample? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of free samples. Try again tomorrow. All right, how much are you selling them for? Well, friend, how much would you be willing to pay for such an amazing product as the amazing Aqua Cura? Is it an amazing 40 caps? No, sir. Try again. Lower. 30 caps? Wrong. Try again. Lower still. <laughs> 20 caps. It's going to be 10 caps, isn't it? Nope. It's insane, isn't it? How could I sell it for any less? But I can, and I will. Try again. Lower. <laughs> 10 caps. 
Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. For the low, low price of just ten caps, you can walk away with your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura. Okay. Well, here's ten caps. Right you are. Here's the bottle, and I'll take those caps. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Come again. And remember, all sales are final. No refunds or exchanges. Ten bottle caps Come removed. Taste Aqua sweet. Cura added. Aqua Pura and Aqua Cura. Um, it's worth more than the Aqua Pura, but it gives two radiation. Yeah, you know, I'll take that. Ooh, and I'm slightly senses. irradiated now. I hope there's nothing wrong with your Aqua Cura. Remember, all sales are final. Um, now, how can I help you, dear returning customer of mine? <laughs> Where'd you get all this Aqua Pura? You're not raiding caravans, are you? Because I've had to kill quite a few people who've done that recently. Really? What's it matter to you anyway? I'm not interested in making trouble. I'm just curious where you got the water. All right. But keep your mouth shut about it. The Brotherhood's happy just giving the stuff away, right? Well, they drove me out claiming ghouls don't need fresh water. Well... Big surprise that when I offered to pay for it, next thing I knew, I was talking to Scribe Bigsley, the guy in charge of the whole shebang. Didn't really want to, but on principle, I wanted to prove that ghouls are worth the cost, so I paid him. Now I'm stuck selling this stuff. Good thing whatever they put in it to kill the radiation also undoes the radiation damage to ghoul physiology. Thus, Aquapura becomes Aquacura. Huh. Well, I suppose you're not necessarily doing anything terribly wrong here. I mean, the radiation doesn't really negatively affect the ghouls. In fact, it does help them a little bit, because radiation does heal ghouls a little bit, so... Uh, what? That doohickey on your wrist says the water's irradiated? That's a pretty fancy device if it can know something like that. But clearly, it's, uh, misinformed. You should get that fixed, because it's definitely giving you false information. Relax, I don't care. Take these morons for all they're worth. I'm just curious. <laughs> it's true, I got a thing going. I take the Aqua Pura, store it to sell to humans later, then I put the irregular irradiated crap in the bottles and sell it to these fools. No one's getting hurt. In fact, the Brotherhood actually needs the caps and technology I give them to fund their free water caravans. Just ask Bigsley at Project Purity. He'll tell you how grateful he is I'm helping them out like this. But watch yourself. Get in my way and let's just say I'm good at removing problems. Oh, is that a threat, I'm Griffin? Troubles. You're clearly up to something. There's no denying it. Talk now. You know, kid, you really ought to have proof before you go around insulting people like that. Now, if you don't mind, why don't you take your baseless accusations elsewhere? I have important business to conduct. Looks like I'm just going to have to finish this off in one specific way. The way I'm best at. Yep. Griffin is dead. Oh, nope. That is, okay. Apparently that makes everyone else hostile. Let me just try and not do that. Let me just smoke some charisma boosting items and try this one more time. You're clearly up to something. There's no denying it. Talk now. Oh, all right, all right. But if you start blabbing... I've got some buddies with itching trigger fingers. So I've got this little operation taking Aqua Pura and replacing it with regular crap. It's not like it'll hurt us ghouls. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to help. The Brotherhood needs me. My caps mean water for the wasteland. Just ask Bigsley at Project Purity. Not a whole lot of new information there. Never mind, I have to go. Discover the location and proof of Griffin's bottling operation, or discover what Bigsley at Project Purity knows about Griffin's water supply. Alright. Looks like I have to go all the way back to the Jefferson Memorial now. Okay. So be it. Well, since I'm passing through Rivet City one more time, why don't I just talk to you and get this quest done? Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? I did. A guy named Split Jack is dead now. He was the ringleader. Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. What do you mean you'll make arrangements? Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh, run out of resources. 
Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. Yeah, that's fine. I got plenty of stuff off of your men's corpse, so it's enough of a reward for now, I suppose. Yep, I was going to make my way back hey. to Bigsley anyway. So, in fact, why don't I head into Rivet City and do a bit of trading there before I head back, and maybe pass some time, because it's getting a little late. If you see anything suspicious, be sure to tell a security officer. Commander Hello. Danvers. Hello. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Chief Danvers, head of Rivet City Security. No, I don't know who you are. What happened to Chief Harkness? He's gone. I'm in charge now. Did you want something, or are you just wasting my time? What? Where did Harkness go? Okay, well, goodbye. Duty calls. It's weird. I don't... I don't think I let Harkness get retaken by the Institute. I wonder what happened to him. It's weird. It's very weird. So... So you and Diego are in love? That rat bastard! I hate his guts! He told me to leave him alone! He won't even talk to me about it! <laughs> That's very weird. That's very weird. I guess because I did not help her out with her druggy, roofying the priest quest that she can't, she can't brainwash Diego anymore. Later. <laughs> Ah, uh, see you later. Hey, Victoria, you know what happened to Harkness? No, she had no information for me about Harkness. That's very weird. What happened between Diego and Angela, Vera? That poor girl. Diego told her to never bother him again. She was devastated. <laughs> okay, well, I need a room. It's very interesting how that quest with uh, Angela just kind of <laughs> turns out if you don't help her. Alright, sleep in my bed for 12 hours seems appropriate. Did you talk to Angela? Are you still seeing her? Because it sounds like you blew up in her face. That is a thing of the past. I told her to stay away from me forever. Wow, that's harsh. See you later. God bless you. He's got all <laughs> All right, then. And down here at the Muddy Rudder, which is a place I have not been to yet. Mm -hmm. I could take these supplies, but the person I came down here to talk to is Butch. Well, if it isn't my hero, the guy who sprang me from the vault, I think I owe this man a drink. Ha! Sounds like a deal. Good to see you, Butch. Here's to raising hell and living the good life out here. Cheers! Now all we need is a gang, and we could take over this whole wasteland. You still want to start that gang, Butch? Hell yeah, I do. I could be out there and kicking butt in my own gang and everything. The tunnel snakes could ride again. Or, you know, slither again. Whatever. <laughs> Come with me, and we'll make an awesome gang. Yeah, yeah, you'd be perfect for my gang. You're in. Tunnel snakes rule. Tunnel snakes rule. Alright, what's next for us? Report back to Bigsley, report back to Bigsley, and ask Bigsley for a reward. Alright, I think we're done here. Time to make our way back to Bigsley. There's the Jefferson Memorial. Fastest way over there, obviously, is, uh, it's probably gonna be the wettest. Alright, ready, Butch? After you, you go first. You know how to swim, right, Butch? No reason, I'm not asking for any reason in part. Uh, very impressive, very impressive, Butch. Get out of here. Come on, Butch, get out of here. There. No, oh, no, God. <laughs> All right. Enough screwing around, you clown. We're heading to the Jefferson Memorial and turning these quests in. Ah, yes, this Brotherhood soldier that died. Let me just take your power armor and give it right over here to Butch. What's the story, my fellow tunnel snake? Far be it from me to impede your style, but I think you need more damage protection. If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. <laughs> it does mean more stuff for Butch. You've got a 10 millimeter pistol and 104 rounds for it. Don't think I have anything better than that at the moment. Nah, nothing you can have. Good enough. Let's go, Butch. Sure thing, man. Sir, 
some messages arrived for you. <laughs> and? and what, sir? Were any of the messages important? I don't know, sir. I thought I should bring them straight to you. <laughs> you didn't read them? No, sir. I... I... Well, who are they from? <laughs> I don't know, sir. I, I thought... Invoices and clipboards with God knows what on them and, and the maps. So many useless <laughs> maps drawn by children, apparently. This guy. This guy's the best character in the game. Requests. Oh, is, is there anyone who doesn't want something <laughs> from me? And, and the messages. Always with the messages. Sorry. Really? Am I the only one who can do anything around here? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I can see you're busy. I'll leave you. You're right. I'm busy. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Wait. Just leave the messages. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> yes, sir. Next time, look them over first. I need you to be a filter for all the inconsequential crap that otherwise lands on my desk. Yes, sir. Go now. Take a short break. Steal a few minutes for yourself. God knows we all deserve it. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Shoot. <laughs> Hail. This guy is the best. This guy is the best character in the game. All right. Scribe Bigsley. Yes? I have some good news for you for a change. I've stopped the cult that was stealing Megaton's water. Cult? There's something about Megaton, isn't there? It's apparently the place to start a cult these days. Apparently. Hmm. Guess I can start sending them water again. Hopefully they can keep their grubby hands on their shipments this time. Here. It's not much. Most of the assets have been exhausted, but take this. It's definitely worth getting lions off my back. <laughs> Thanks. 300 bottle caps. Good enough. And Officer Le Pelletier said you'd be rewarding me for helping her out with the caravans? Yes, yes, I received a message from her. It's here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, no matter where it is, I know what it said. <sighs> the initiates just finished itemizing a requisition of confiscated Enclave gear. There were a few items that we didn't immediately send out. I suppose you're welcome to those. The Brotherhood... <laughs> Thank you for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just take a brief nap here at my desk. Gatling laser equipped. You know, I didn't sign up with the Brotherhood to be an errand girl. <laughs> <laughs> think I caught the boss napping at his desk. Nothing but size. Yes? This place is just exhausting. Griffin's up to something with the Aquapura. What do you want to do about it? Not that it's really any of your business, but we have an arrangement. He buys water... I send him some. Yeah, I already knew about that. I was kind of looking to inquire on that a bit more, but I guess I can't. Black. All right, Butch. What's the story, my fellow tunnel snake? Good news. I found a helmet for you. Don't want to muss up your hair, but it's going to happen. In fact, the Enclave power armor is stronger than what you're wearing as well, so go ahead and take that as well. <laughs> Just have this Enclave soldier running around behind me. I'm sure it won't distress anybody. Ah, okay. So now I can see on my map here that I can go to the Museum Authority building, and that will be where I need to go to complete the quest for the amazing Aqua Cura. All right, so we'll just head right over there right quickly. And some rad roaches over here. Not even a problem. And make our way into here, which is the Museum Authority. Open fire. Where? <laughs> Good job, Butch. Ghoul guard. I'll take the ammunition you had on you. Looks like we're already off on a bad foot with these guys. They have uh, shoot on sight orders, so just make our way through here, killing everything that attacks us. Want some more? Ah, ow! Do you mind? I was looting these desks. Griffin's bottling instructions. Let me just check out this note. Here are my instructions. First off, shoot anyone who isn't me or one of you. Don't want anyone nosing around inside. When Bigsley's men arrive from Project Purity, 
Pay them promptly, but don't let them in. Take the aqua pura, dump it in the tubs and sinks to hold for later, then fill the empty bottles with the treated irradiated water. Well, Butch, looks like you and I have stumbled upon a major water smuggling operation. I guess we're done then, unless there's some way to sabotage this place. And now we go back and confront Griffin about the operation in the Museum Authority building. All right, Butch, I'm going to introduce you to a shyster named Griffin. And back here towards the amazing Aquacura. These people are still standing around and gawking at him, including Fox. That's right, it removes stains as well as headaches. The amazing Aquacura. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I've seen your bottling operation. The jig is up. My what now? My bottling operation? <laughs> oh, you mean where I add my secret ingredient to the aqua pura? Yeah, that's not aqua pura. If you want my silence, you'll have to buy it. Why you buy your... Uh, uh... <sighs> Fine. If you promise to keep your mouth shut, I'll cut you in. Me and my boys continue to do our thing. You come and check on us once in a while, and I'll cut you in for your share. Each week you make it by, I'll give you 20% of the previous week's profits. That's more than fair for doing nothing. I'm doing all the hard work. We split the profits 50-50, or this will end badly for you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there are any more profits to be had, seeing as how I killed your workers, but we'll try and do this speech check. Are you kidding? <laughs> all right, 40-60, if you insist. No way. Try again. 3070? Fine. 3070 it is. <laughs> but only of the profits. I still have to recoup my initial investment. You come back once a week and I'll give you your share. 240 bottle caps. caps Not bad. Not bad. You know, their brotherhood's still getting a nice flow of money. And a couple of ghouls are getting scammed. But aside from that, everyone else wins. Not bad. Not bad. Wouldn't you say so, Butch? And we're done now. We have completed all three quests given to us by the scribe. We have stopped raiders, or an organized gang, from attacking caravans. We stopped the cult from, quote-unquote, improving the water, turning it into holy water, which kills people. And we have undercovered, or we have uncovered this undercover water smuggling and scamming operation. But we have decided not to solve that quest in the most paragony way. Well, I suppose that's it for now. Me and Butch, we can go ahead and explore the rest of this area. We've got a couple more areas we can check out if we wanted to. But all of the major quests are done, and the only thing left are little quests here and there. A little unmarked quest, and a bunch of areas we could still explore if we felt like it. But for now, I think we're done. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mike, and this has been Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. Wrapping up a few loose ends. Thank you for joining me.